I just I saw green and I took it. I saw open field and I knew we had to get a score to win the game. So I, I wanted to win. Was it a call for you to sweep to the outside? No, it was a run play up the middle. So you kind of took it upon yourself to audible a little bit, huh? A little bit, but I thank God to my line. They did great blocking. So that, that's for them. That was for them for sure. That's a ball player move. That's a ball player. That's what people do. That's what a ball player does. He's just, he's him. You don't have it. Bounce and run. And that's what he did. And that's what, uh, honestly, you, you have to have it, let the guy do that. Because, they, you know, they're, 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 there's a stun. It blew it up. Okay, bounce and go. Right? And he found the seat. A hard fought game. And, and, you know, you talked about the, there was an amazing play. There were some major mistakes by both teams, you know. And who's going to survive the mistakes, right? And, and make a big play in the end. And that's what Sean Martin did. You know, he, he had a great game. Sean, big interception for you early. Set up your touchdown. Brandon sets you up with a touchdown. What's it about you guys in the secondary? Hey, it's a brotherhood. Hey, this is what we believe in. We work on it every day in practice, as you saw earlier. This is, we, we believe in each other. And we got faith in each other. That's all it is. Oh, no, we are, we're competitive with each other. We always try to beat each other in our own games. We try to see who can get the most touchdowns, the most practice break us the most tackles. That's what makes a good secondary. How much were you trying to sniff one out then because he got one earlier? Oh, I was I was, I was, was feeding for one so bad. I was like, I got, I can't let Sean get an interception before me. Have more interceptions for me. The second overtime, you guys were on your heels. What was it about the D that came up here? We just knew. We just knew we had to get a stop, get the offense the ball and score and get out of here. I mean, Ed Soder, a Mena resident, made multiple play after play and he really rallied the whole defense. Like, honestly, the offense did Sean Martin scored that touchdown, but Ed Soder rallied it. I give Ed Soder the majority of that credit for that stand. Ed Soder played his played the game of his life. But he's gonna play better next week, so that's a good offensive football team there, right? You know, they put thirty some points on on the Kinley. Um, I, I give the kids credit, I give the coaches credit because Mena was finding some things, all right? And they made some adjustments and the kids kept their kept their fight and kept their uh, just intensity going and concentration. We, we blew up a coverage or so earlier. We did in the last part. We were on them. Yeah, no, they, they're a good offense, but we got turnovers at critical points. Uh, we stuck together as a team. Uh, and we just, Players made plays. So. Speaking of players making plays, both your cornerbacks make big picks to set up interceptions. What do you make of Brandon and Sean's efforts tonight? I mean, I'd love to see someone try to throw on us consistently this year. With, with me and Eugene on the edge and those guys back there, try it. After having to sit and wait at Byers last week, what does this do for you guys in week two getting your first win? There was a lot of a lot of bottled energy after that game. Uh, we were we were devastated and did not be able to play. We were ready for Springfield. Uh, and getting a win like this against Manor, our trajectory is going through the roof right now. Man, it feels great. It's amazing to get a first win in our W after we didn't have a game last week. Thank God.